Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again for another stock pick of the day. Today we are going to cover VF Corporation. It is September 28th and if you like dividend growth investing, dividend stocks, everything to do with dividends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you find value in the content and most importantly hit that notification bell and share with anyone that you think might find value as well drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the video whenever you get through it and let's jump right in and look at vf corp so vf corp is a retailer they are in the consumer discretionary and you probably know some of their brands the north face timberland uh, Ultra, Smart Wall, Icebreaker, Vans Off the Wall, Dickies, Timberland Pro. At a glance, they 11.8 billion in revenue, 35,000 associates around the world. Been in business since 1899, so 123 plus years. So they have seen it all. They have been through the Great Depression, recessions, uh, wars, you name it. They've weathered the storm. So I don't think they're going anywhere. Probably be around for another 123 years, if unless you believe some of these. Uh, these uh you know like the north face is going to go away or dickies or some of these brands that they've been buying up uh, are going to go away i really don't think so you have 1300 owned retail stores in 125 countries where products are sold 410 million units of apparel footwear and accessories so they're selling you your clothes that you like your jackets your shoes boots work boots i actually use a timberland pro work boots myself uh, we power movement of sustainable and active lifestyles for the betterment of people and our planet and that is vf corp in a snapshot now let's take a look at their performance the reason we're looking at them today they were down 6.9 percent on the day closed out the day at 32 dollars and 65 cents we are talking about vf corporation ticker vfc again out of the consumer discretionary sector Average volume is 3.2. Looks like their current volume today was 9.5. So it looks like they were probably a lot of selling going on. That's why you're seeing this straight downtrend. I mean, that's just a, a slide down, right? 52-week uh, range as low as $32.63, as high as $78.91. Definitely closer to that 52-week low. Actually, looks like they might be getting ready to set a new all-time 52-week low if they go any lower than currently are. Market cap of 12.684 billion. They do have a beta of point or 1.39, which is more volatile than the overall market, and you can definitely see that volatility here. Uh, PE ratio 12.7, so not real high on the PE ratio. EPS earnings per share is 2.57. Next earnings date is October 20th through the 24th. They'll announce somewhere in there. Four dividend of two dollars paid out on the year. So divide by four, that would tell you your quarterly dividend. So basically, you know, 50 50 cents a uh, per share per quarter and they have a very nice dividend yield 5.59 percent obviously if this continues to keep going down that yield will grow x dividend date was september 9th so just miss that one if you bought them before that you'll get the next dividend if you're looking to buy them after this you may uh you'll, you won't get the next dividend you'll have to wait for the following and according to yahoo finance where i pulled this information from they have a one-year target stock price estimate of fifty dollars and 61 cents so speaks to some upside in stock price appreciation. Now we'll jump over to stockanalysis.com. Again, another, another uh, channel that I like to look at for information, not affiliated with these guys either, but according to the 27 stock analysts, they have had a look at this. They call it a, a buy, but really it looks like it's right on the edge of a buy and hold, it even looks like it's more on the hold range. So this one may be one to watch, but they have a low estimate of $35.35. It's currently sitting below their low. So if it goes up to their estimate low it would be a 8.3 percent increase in stock price average price 52 dollars and 68 cents that's pretty much in line with what we saw on the previous slide for yahoo finance they were about 55 so uh, not not too far off here that would be a 61.4 percent increase from where it currently sits and if it happened to hit their high 89 dollars and 25 cents that would be a 173.44 percent stock price appreciation vf corp uh, very looking very interesting looking very attractive very nice yield uh, again 6.93 percent not very often you see a company drop by that much on a day but here we are and it looks like it is up in the after hours a uh, little bit 2.51 percent at least whenever I pulled this information we'll see where it uh, where it goes tomorrow 
Now this is where I would typically show you my position. Now obviously I don't have anything here, so I don't have a position in VF Corp. To be honest with you, it's not one that's even on my watch list, but boy, whenever I was looking at stocks today, a lot of green in the market, and then this one just jumped off the page. Like I said, a 6% decrease. So if Vans was one that uh, you were interested in, or have been waiting on to drop into fair value. I would say it is uh, fair valued. I'd have to do a, a discounted cash flow analysis on it, but looking at the metrics, it surely looks uh, pretty close, I would say. But again, don't take my word for it. Do your own due diligence. If you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, share with anyone you think might find value, comment, and like the videos. That would really help me out. And these are quick hitters, so that will wrap up this one. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. As always, appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I do personally read and respond to the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, suggestions for future topics, opinions, or constructive criticism. Go ahead and drop it all down below in the comment section. And this is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you're having a great week. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm only sharing my opinion. Investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can't lose money. You should never invest any amount. Not comfortable losing. Always doing your own research. Best based on your situation, circumstances, and select criteria. Or seek the advice counsel of a certified financial advisor.